Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I am showing a week's worth of outfits from my capsule wardrobe and I named this video casual and classy outfits because that pretty much describes my style for a lack of a better term. So much for calling yourself classy, right? I feel like these types of everyday looks, especially under the classy tag, will often be very neutral. And don't get me wrong, I do have neutrals in my wardrobe, but I also have a very meticulously crafted, cool toned color scheme for my wardrobe. So a lot of these outfits will feature some color and I feel like a lot of the time, it is actually the colors and the color pairing of an outfit that will sort of determine the entire mood of the outfits. I'm in Europe and we are in February, so these outfits are going to be cold weather appropriate. So for the first outfit, I chose this beautiful brown wool and cashmere coat from The Curated. I then paired it with a cashmere turtleneck from Uniqlo in a similar brown tone. Similar meaning that they're both of the cool tone family, again because that is just my color scheme. So even though the browns are from obviously different brands, they still suit each other so well. Then I am pairing it with my jeans. These are just my favorite jeans, a high-waisted straight-legged pair. That is just usually what goes best with my style. Something I love about the coats like this that are in very high quality, made from wool and cashmere, is that they just fall so beautifully. So even as you're just wearing it going about your day, you will look effortlessly polished because the quality of the pieces will make all the difference. I add that extra something to every outfit with my jewelry. I've chosen gold. I feel like it just goes really beautifully with my wardrobe. I'm also wearing black shoes and a black bag with this outfit. When I started rebuilding my wardrobe, creating like a bigger capsule wardrobe of higher end pieces, I settled on just one color for accessories just as of yet. So right now I will wear black accessories with every outfit that I have. There are some outfits that could look even more interesting with like a brown bag, or like a cream bag, but that's just what it is when you start building a quality a wardrobe. Sometimes you're going to have to take things slow, but luckily that's not really a problem because in my color scheme, black usually goes really well with everything. And if you are a person whom warm tones are more appropriate for, this exact look, but like substituting a camel bag with either like a cream or also a camel cashmere sweater slash turtleneck will be the exact same look, give up the exact same effect, but it's going to balance your personal beauty better because of the coloring. Now, this isn't just an outfit I made for this video. This is an outfit I regularly wear and sometimes I'll leave it like this, but sometimes I want a little bit of extra and then I'll take another sweater. This is my wool sweater from Ghani and then I'll throw that over my shoulder just for that extra bit of something a little bit more interesting. And because it is in the same color family as the other two monotone pieces, it just looks so well put together, I think. For the next look, I picked a very similar coat, also from the same brand, and I love this coat so much. It's one of the most worn pieces in my closet. So everything I said about the former coat still stands with this one. It looks so polished, well put together, and just overall great. For this look, I paired it with a wool sweater. This is a loose sweater, and because of that, I just let it hang loose over the skirt for a very casual look. I love wearing mini skirts in winter, especially with the look that a long line coat over it gives. Any white sweater might do, but I do focus on the natural fabrics so that I just feel overall luxurious and more comfortable. Stocking up on some quality sweaters, or at least just in fabrics that are breathable for you, makes a difference. Then with a pair of 40 den tights, the boots from before, and the bag. Of course, these colors are all neutrals, but I feel like there's still enough going on that the look is pretty interesting. Everything here is cool toned. And then the contrast of the gold that I'm wearing just brings back in 
that warmth and that balance to a look this devout of color. The next outfit consists of a third and similar coat. This one is a navy blue. It's probably gonna show up quite dark on the camera, but it is navy. For this look, I paired it with a cashmere crew neck sweater. This one I've had for a couple of seasons now from Everlane. This is an oat color, so that is the cool toned version of beige, which is also why it fits so beautifully in with the rest of my cool toned color scheme. Then I picked a pair of high waisted wide legged pants in the same color. I remember finding this picture on Pinterest a couple of seasons ago of a navy coat with an oat colored outfit underneath and I just think it looks so classy. It's just such a nice color pairing. For the pants for this outfit, they are actually just from H&M. They are a polyester pair and Polyester is a bit less uncomfortable on the lower part of your body, at least I feel that way. I feel like together with this outfit, they just look really good. Then I will wear, of course, again, my black accessories, but here I might have chosen to wear something else if I had it. I could also even wear trainers with this outfit, but I'm not sure that I would. Another way I have actually worn exactly this outfit is with a pair of lounge pants. These are cashmere lounge pants from Lily Silk. I actually usually just wear them at home but I do feel it looks so luxurious with this sweater with this coat and even though of course it is like a lounge look then I've sort of played around with using these other kitten heels that I have with this look because even though it is technically a pair of joggers when everything is so soft looking and in these colors I feel like you can pull that off as classy even though you are just truly comfortable and in loungewear. The next outfit is one of my absolute favorites. I really often do a variety of this. It is a blazer with a top and a skirt all in like a more or less monotone look and for this outfit for me I am wearing my secondhand Jill Sander blazer. I really love this blazer. It's very high-end. I found it for a super reasonable price. For this everyday outfit I paired it with a mock neck and then again my black a-line mini skirt. It just looks like you're wearing a dress underneath the blazer in theory, but I think it just looks so good. Then again with tights, the boots which are tied to the ankle so that it elongates your leg. Then with a black bag it still looks rather casual. Then I'll throw whatever coat I want that day over it, but for this outfit I just picked the grey one because the grey one is a little bit more slouchy. It is the boyfriend style, so there's plenty of room underneath it for a blazer. Something I also do every once in a while when I wear this outfit which is all the time. I'll again throw the leopard sweater over the shoulder. Again, I just think this looks so good. It's such a easy and nice way to add an extra element to an outfit. Like whichever nice sweater in color or pattern that you're into, you can throw that over your shoulders. And if you're someone who still has a repertoire of polyester sweaters, but you're trying to get into adding more high quality pieces, this is a great way to still wear your polyester pieces as you're realizing you're not that comfortable wearing them on your upper body. This is just a side note, but I'll also often wear this for going out, but then instead of the mock neck, I'll wear some sort of square neck top. I'll of course choose a different bag, you know, like a handbag, which is more appropriate for going out, but I'll wear some variation of this look for every occasion. And when you have a look that you really love and you can construct it of great quality pieces that are comfortable, you just will want to wear it. The next look is my fun look or I would rather say my cool girl look of this compiled week. Most if not all of us have a fantasy self and I think it's really healthy to let go of the fantasy self to a very, very large extent because sometimes we're just buying for that fantasy self because she's so much cooler than who we are, or at least that's how we view it. Sometimes it's important to follow the heart and that's why I have a piece like this. A big part of my fantasy self is this cool girl aesthetic and I've let go of that to such a massive degree, but it's important with balance. Whatever you repress will come back with a vengeance. It's important to have a little bit of fun, so I 
have this really nice blazer. I used to have something in a lower quality that was similar to it, but partly because of the lower quality, partly just because of the construction of that blazer, it really wasn't that much of a good look. I'll put up a comparison so that you, you can see it. But now that I have the same look in something that is definitely better made, and also in part of natural fiber, this is, is cut with uh, a bit of polyester. But I did put it on top of a pink cashmere turtleneck, then paired it with just my jeans, so something a little bit more casual. It injects a little bit more fun color and fantasy into my otherwise very real-life Naya appropriate week of outfits. Then I think for this look, black still works, but I think black works better on the boots. With the back, I feel like black against a hot pink can sometimes give a little bit of like a sharp or a harsh look but that's also okay sometimes partly because of that whenever i wear this look i usually actually go for the brown coat again because it has some sort of like soft almost feminine quality to it it's like a softness to this otherwise hot pink but you know sometimes the coat that we wear is just to take us from place to place and when it comes to that outfit that's exactly what a coat needs to do because I do wear this outfit in the winter knowing that I will drop my coat wherever I'm going. You know, trying to look stylish and look good, it's so important not to forget ourselves and who we are on the inside, but it is also important to balance that out with not letting that fantasy take over. I feel like there's a happy medium for most of us there. Then my next look, and this is also one of my most worn looks on a day-to-day -day basis, is my Mucknick paired with my gray coat. And then for the first part of this look with the boots, the coat, the bag, I went with black dress pants. This is a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more sleek. It sort of depends on my mood for the day, but this look always looks so good and so sleek, even though it's so simple. It's an outfit that I will always repeat. And then again, pairing it with some gold details, all of my jewelry, I'll wear some bigger hoop earrings, a necklace, my rings, bracelets. Then I also have the hardware of my back to touch on this outfit. And together with like well-groomed nails, well-groomed hair, something like this, which is in theory super basic, is still so sleek and classy. And it's something that I wear all the time, but there's a part two to this outfit because this is sort of like the sleek version of this outfit, but I will actually usually wear it with jeans. This takes the outfit to a little bit more casual, but again, I still think it's super classy. It sort of really just depends on your mood and what you're going for, but this outfit right here, I have worn that literally hundreds of times. I think it just is so easy and it looks so good. Something to say though is that because this outfit is so basic, the quality of it's Especially your coat, I think, really makes or breaks the outfit because if you have a coat comparable, which is usually made of something like polyester, a lot of polyester coats, when you wear them, they will create these weird folds and creases in the fabric. If you have a felted wool coat, a lot of the time, even if your coat is getting all like wrinkled or just hanging out somewhere, as soon as you wear it, gravity will do its job and it will look so beautiful and all smooth. And since your coat takes up so much of your outfit, I feel like that's just so important. Then for the next outfit of the week, this is arguably the simplest one, but it's one of those things as well, even though it is really simple, it just always looks good. And that is my cashmere turtleneck sweater dress. It is so comfy, of course, but also just so easy. Then I'll pop on my tights and one of my long coats. I'll usually not go with the navy for black. Not that it's offensive or anything, but I just think that it looks better with the charcoal or the brown. And then of course, I'll wear my black bag and my black boots with it. This is also a look it is easier to adapt to when it is colder, even though of course, you know, I'm just wearing tights on my legs, but you can still pop on like a heat tech shirt and heat tech bike shorts underneath a dress like this so that you're all comfy with this like nice tight fabric as a first layer, as the base layer, and then the cashmere turtleneck dress on top of it. It's the 
easiest way of them all to get dressed and look good effortlessly. That was my week worth of outfits from my capsule wardrobe. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and you can watch this video now if you want to.